Hey guys, we are in beautiful Costa Rica today. I'm at Surf Vista Villa in Santa Teresa and I have an amazing balance and core yoga sequence for you. We are going to work your abdominals, challenge your balance, and give you a nice stretch at the same time. So if you're ready, grab a mat, some water, and let's do it. All right guys, so starting by stepping to the very back of your mat, feet together, inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive it all the way down. Hold it here. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, walking forward into plank, taking your chaturanga down to the floor or knees, chest, chin. Upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to really stretch out your downward dog and then slowly rounding. When you're ready, through the spine into plank, hold. Exhale, downward dog. Come forward into plank. Exhale, down dog. Nice fluid motion here with your spine. Downward dog. Big breath in, rounding one vertebra at a time. Opening to side plank, stacking your feet on top of one another. Or you can always bend the bottom knee into modification. Beginning to circle the arm. Big circle engaging, draw the navel into the spine. Coming back to plank, taking your push up and two. All the way down into your chaturanga, upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do that one more time on the other side. Rounding through the spine, plank. Open to side plank, stack your feet or modify by bending the bottom knee to the ground. Hold, big circle with the arm for one. And two. Reach it back down. Plank position, two push-ups. You can always modify by bringing the knees down. Chaturanga down. Upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reaching your right leg up to the sky, bending the knee, and then taking a big step forward to the very top of your mat into lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, extend the front knee, flex your front foot. Inhale, forward into lunge. Exhale, press and extend. Draw the forehead into the knee. Hold here, feeling a nice stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, come forward into lunge. Reach the arms up to the sky, high lunge. Breathe. And then transfer all of your weight into that right foot. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Draw the navel to the spine. Pushing back into warrior three. This is where you really want to find that balance. Knee into the chest. Push it back, warrior three. Making sure your bottom knee is slightly bent to make sure you're not hyperextending or putting extra pressure on the joint. Good. Press it back and knee to chest. Press it back. Hold. Warrior three. Extending your arms. Nice straight line with the body from the forehead all the way over to the heel. Breathe. Slowly coming up. This time, hands in prayer position. Go ahead and take your left ankle at the very top of your right knee. Reach your arms up. Exhale, sitting right into our standing pigeon. You can always release the hands to the ground or hold on to a prop for extra support, like a chair or a block. Hold and breathe. The deeper you can come down, the further you're going to feel that stretch. Inhale, reach the arms up, bring the knee up, connecting the knees now. Left arm comes back, dancer's pose. Reaching your right fingers forward and lifting your left knee back. Trying your best does not matter how high the leg goes, bring the knee back up and step back into your lunge. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it down and stepping right into your plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reaching your left leg up, inhale, 
Bending the knee, exhale, big step to the very top of your mat, high lunge on your other side. Exhale, press and extend that left knee. Feel a stretch in the hamstring, in and push. Bring that forehead into the knee. Go ahead and flex the left foot so you feel a deeper stretch in the calf. Coming forward into lunge, reaching slowly your arms right up to the sky. Find your balance. Make sure the front knee stays over the ankle. Bring your weight all the way forward. And then press the right foot back, warrior three. Knee to chest, draw the navel to the spine. This is where you're really working on that balance and extend. Bring the knee in, draw the navel into the spine, contract your abdominals and press. In and push, very nice, hold it here. Come back in, extend. This time we're coming into our warrior three. Good, slowly come all the way up. This time right ankle comes on top of the left knee, sitting right into our standing pigeon. Hands in prayer, or go ahead and release them down to the ground. You can let your head be relaxed if you like. Releasing deep into this posture, feeling the stretch in the right glute. Breathe in. Exhale, holding your pigeon, and then slowly coming up, let's transfer right into our dancer's pose, knees connect, right hand reaches for the right ankle, lifting that right knee as the left arm reaches forward. Again, do it to your best ability here. Hold, find your balance, bring the knee up, and then slowly step back into our lunge, inhale, reach, exhale down, stepping into plank, chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take a moment to breathe. Stretch it out. Inhale, reaching the right leg up, bending the knee. As you exhale, come forward, touch the opposite elbow and then the right elbow and then extend. Come forward, left elbow, right elbow and push. Plank and extend. Right knee touches left elbow, right elbow, extend. Keep going, left, right, and push. Really working the core here, left, right, push. And left elbow, right elbow, and extend, push, push, push. Left, right, keep breathing, guys. Try to come down as low as you can, and then step your right foot forward. Bring all of your weight to the right foot, standing split. Again, try to your best ability lifting your left leg up as high as you can as the chest draws in towards the thigh. From here, transferring into our half moon today. So first, make sure the right hand stays on the ground or a block. Opening the body now, so stacking the left hip on top of your right hip, stack the shoulders. Left foot is flexed, opening the body. Coming back to center, lifting back up into your standing split, breathe. Exhale, feet together, top of your mat, rounding through the spine, taking our vinyasa, inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping back into plank, chaturanga dandasana, take it all the way down, or take a push-up if you like. Upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's take it to the other side now. Left leg up. Bending the left knee, coming forward into plank, and you're going to touch first your right elbow, left elbow, and then extend it up. Come forward to plank, right, left, and push up. Right, left, and push. Right, left, and push. Right, left, and push. Right, Left, bring that knee in as close to the chest as you can. And push, very good. Right, left, push. Big step, top of the mat with that left foot. Bring all of your weight to the left foot, reaching the right leg up into standing split. Forehead comes as close to the knee as possible. 
and slowly let's come into our half moon left hand stays down this time opening the hips stack that right hip over left reach the right arm up to the sky flexing the right foot shoulders are stacked hips are stacked and then slowly come back to center level off the hips lift the leg up standing split and then very slowly releasing the right foot down Take a moment to breathe in. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back into your plank and go ahead and take your two push-ups again or go ahead and just take a chaturanga if you like. Upward dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, breathe in. Exhale, looking to the top of your mat, taking two steps to the very top. Coming up halfway again. Exhale, release, bending the knees slowly, guiding yourself all the way over to the mat. Coming right into our seated position. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release. Open. And release. Gen gentle movement into the spine here. And then slowly coming into our boat. Left knee comes up and then the right knee follows. You can hold on to the legs or for a more advanced version, reach the arms forward and hold. Again, really working those abdominals, reaching the arms up and down. Two, push it down. Three, inhale up, exhale, four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, Eight, hold, slowly drop your feet and rounding the spine all the way down to the ground. Inhale, reach the arms up and over your head. Exhale, give yourself a big hug on the floor. And then coming into our Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, opening your arms nice and wide, palms open, giving your body a moment to completely relax into this position, feeling a gentle stretch along the inner thighs. And then slowly knees together, reach the arms over your head. Rolling over into your fetal position. And then slowly coming up to your seated position on your mat. Crossing your feet in front and resting your hands on top of the knees. Just taking a moment here to breathe. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in, let all the tension release. You guys did an amazing job today. Really working your body, your core, your balance. Inhale, let's reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Bowing down to your heart. Thanking yourself for your wonderful practice. See you again soon.